हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग इन ऑक्टाहाइड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस we have seen that five metal d orbitals get split into two levels upper lying doubly degenerate eg level and lower lying triply degenerate t2g level the distance between the two levels is 10 dq which is called as delta o in this video we will study distribution of d electrons in t2g and eg orbitals for example here i have considered a d4 electronic configuration If we have to distribute these four electrons in T2g and Eg orbitals, we have to study four rules. The first rule is electrons prefer to occupy orbitals of lower energy, which is Aufbau principle. Hence, among these four electrons, first three electrons will go into T2g orbital. For the fourth electron, we have to follow the second rule, that is Hund's rule. it says that electron pairing will not take place until all the available orbital of the given set contain one electron each now we can see that all the three orbitals of the t2g set contains one unpaired electron and now the fourth electron will get paired up in t2g orbital according to the hunts rule to study afbau principle and hunts rule in detail click on the above link and watch one of my earlier video electronic configuration still about the fourth electron there is a question into a mind whether this electron will get paired up in t2g orbital or it can go into the eg orbital as unpaired electron for this we have to study the third rule it says that if the 10 dq value is less than pairing energy the fourth electron will go into the eg orbital this is because the gap between the t2g and eg is small and electron has that energy to go into the eg orbital for an electron to get pair up it requires an pairing energy here the 10 dq gap between the t2g and eg orbital is less than that of pairing energy therefore the electron prefers to occupy the eg orbital according to the fourth rule if the 10 dq value is more than the pairing energy the electron will pair up into the t2g orbital this is because pairing energy is smaller than the energy required to go into the eg orbital and hence the fourth electron gets paired up into the t2g orbital in the third case where the 10 dq is less than pairing energy it happens in the case of weak ligand field whereas in the fourth case due to strong ligand field a 10 dq is higher than the pairing energy let's understand this weak ligand field and strong ligand field in detail ligands which produces a weak field and cause only a small degree of splitting of the orbitals are called as weak field ligands for example f minus oh minus chlorine iodine these are weak ligands and the ligands which produces a strong field and cause large degree of splitting of d orbitals are called as strong field ligands cyanide carbonyl ammonia these are the examples of strong ligands don't get confused we have to remember this series a left hand side up to ammonia these are all strong ligands and other ligands on the right hand side are all considered as weak ligands let's understand this with the help of an example here we are considering both the ligand fields weak ligand field and a strong ligand field for the weak ligand field i am taking the example of cocl6 3 minus and for the strong ligand field i am taking the example of conh36 3 plus in both the cases if we calculate the oxidation state it comes out to be 3 cobalt atomic number 27 it has electronic configuration argon 3d7 4s2 up to argon 18 electrons gets filled up then the next two electron enters into the 4s orbital and remaining seven electron gets filled up into the 3d orbital cobalt in plus 3 oxidation state two electrons are removed from 4s orbital and one electron from 3d orbital the electronic configuration is 3d6 for the d6 electronic configuration among the 5d orbitals which contains 6 electrons these 5d orbitals in the case of strong ligand field it gets split into two levels lower lying t2g level and upper lying eg level in case of strong ligand field the gap between the t2g and eg is more than the pairing energy 
that is 10 dq is higher than the pairing energy. For the distribution of 6 electrons in various T2g and Eg orbitals, the first 3 electron goes into the T2g orbital according to the above principle, then the Hunt's rule is followed. Now as all the available orbitals contains 1 electron each, the pairing will take place. Now here the 10 dq is higher than pairing energy, therefore electron prefers to go into the T2g orbital rather than going into the Eg orbital. Hence the fourth electron goes into the T2g orbital. In case of weak ligand field, the 5d orbitals splits into T2g and Eg, but here the gap between the T2g and Eg that is 10 dq is less than pairing energy. Hence the first three electron goes into the T2g orbital and the fourth electron rather than going into the T2g orbital as the gap is less, the energy to go into the Eg orbital is less than the pairing energy, the fourth electron goes into the Eg orbital. Now as all 5d orbital contains one electron, now we have to follow the Hunt's rule that is the pairing of electron we have to carry out. Now the sixth electron will get paired up into the T2g orbital. Now in case of strong ligand field, we can see that all the electrons are paired up. In some cases, it is possible that there might be less number of unpaired electrons. Therefore, these complexes are called as low spin complex. As the electrons are paired up, therefore it is also called as spin paired complex. In case of weak ligand field, we can see there are high number of unpaired electrons. Therefore, these are called as high spin complex or spin free complex. This is how we have studied the distribution of electrons in case of strong ligand field or in case of weak ligand field. In the next video, we will study to calculate crystal field stabilization energy in strong ligand field as well as in case of weak ligand field. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to ask something, mention it in the comment box. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the notification about my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.